The main focus of research in the CHO group in the NICB is in the area of biopharmaceutical drug production. This is whereby living cells are required to make large complex therapeutic proteins such as monoclonal antibodies which are used to treat a variety of diseases like arthritis and cancer. The cell that we are most interested in is the Chinese hamster ovary or CHO cell line which is grown in multi-thousand litre bioreactors similar to brewing beer as a means to manufacture enough product to meet the global demand. By using an inducible system, we have the ability to control the abundance of free microRNA in the cells. Here at NICV, we take advantage of advanced gene expression systems. We employ a variety of targeted genetic engineering strategies to improve and enhance industrially relevant CHO cell line characteristics. This is not only used to elucidate microRNA function, but also used to improve the bioprocess. MicroRNAs are key regulators in gene regulation and thus have a drastic effect on how a CHO cell behaves in the bioprocess. Our research has shown that the deletion of a particular microRNA can actually improve biopharmaceutical production. My PhD project is based on deleting microRNAs using the sophisticated CRISPR-Cas9 system, which is a genome engineering tool, and we try to improve biopharmaceutical production. Using this system, we aim also in improving growth to reach high cell densities in large-scale bioreactors. An exciting development in bioreactor technology is the move towards plastic bag wave reactors and away from stainless steel for the production of therapeutic proteins. A big problem with these wave reactors is that they can leach chemicals into the media which can adversely affect the performance of the culture. We are involved in a large-scale collaboration with multiple industrial partners to solve this problem and make this a viable alternative for pharmaceutical production. The ultimate aim of this project is to reduce the costs associated with drug production, thus making them more accessible for the patient.